As you can tell by those uh, shots right there, this week I'm coming to you outside of the country. I'm in the Philippines right now, and that video is um, Metro Manila. I'm about 15 miles outside of the city in a, uh, a small town called Antipolo. Um, we're staying at a hotel that's up on top of the mountain, and um, and the views up here are, are just breathtaking. And we're here doing some mission work this week for the kingdom of God, and that just happens to be um, the part of our vision talk this week that we wanted to talk about. That you know we've we've said to you over the several weeks that this is a Direction Church. We, we're trying to offer a safe place where we take the journey together as a family by knowing God receiving from God and then this week's is the last part of it is doing something for God when I when I came here um, this week um, I'm the only person that came from our church um, I, I'm the only person that I didn't come with my wife and kids I didn't come with a travel companion I met up with some people that were part of our church um, and then I met another pastor from uh, and an evangelist from his church in Augusta Georgia and we're, we're here doing missions work and I, I started to think about God why why am I here what am I doing here and all week long it's it's been so humbling that when I didn't know anybody and didn't really understand the entirety of why I was here how God has shown up and done something all the time yesterday we were at a prison and I spoke at the ladies prison and 300 women all 300 in the cell block raised their hand and said the prayer with me the sinner's prayer received Jesus and it, it blew my mind the, the, they told us at the prison we we're the first American missionaries to come here the pastor of the local church here said we the, we're the first American missionaries to come to this borough uh, this part of, of the um, of the suburbs of, of Manila it's, it's mind-boggling that there's so much work for the kingdom of God that it, it needs to be done and that there are places that you can go right now where they've never seen an American. And so I'm saying all that to say this. Our, our vision is, is to give you a place at Direction Church where you can do something for God. It may seem like it's, it's just something just to be doing it. But we want you to understand that when you serve God, you're serving Him. It's not for you. There's very little benefit for me being here right now. I'm not getting paid anything. Uh, I don't really have a lot of fellowship with people that I know. I'm not furthering relationships with people. But I'm here because God laid this on my heart. I'm doing something that brought very little benefit to me. I've left my wife and my kids. And I'm here in the Philippines because the Lord told me to come here. And then when I see what God does while I'm ministering, it is so humbling to me to see that God does things when you do something for Him. And I know that our, our mindset sometimes is, well, I can't because I work and I gotta, I've gotta provide for my family and I've gotta provide for my wife and my kids. And I, and I get that and that's noble. But at the same time, the thing that the Lord's been showing me as I've been separated from my wife and kids this week is that He's the provider, I'm not. Now that doesn't mean I don't do anything. But the thing about it is, is when I live my life to do what God wants me to do, I say, God, whatever you want me to do, wherever you want me to go, then when I do what God wants me to do, God takes care of me and my family because I'm not the provider. He is. Somebody needs to hear that today. The vision of Direction Church is to help us do something for God so that God can do something for you. When you put God first and you follow his leading and you say, I'm gonna live my life for him, not for me, not for my benefit, not for what makes sense to me, but I'm gonna live my life to do what God wants me to do. When you learn that, and you keep that, that practice in place, God is then responsible to take care of you. And this week, you know, um, Jody and the and the kids have have uh, have been without me, and I'll tell you the truth, I miss them terribly. But at the same time, God's taking care of us. God's taking care of me. God's provided for them. God's provided for me. God has done things this week that has blown my mind because I don't know anybody. I'm not anybody. 
but I'm doing it for him and he is everything. And so what we want you to do and when you're when you're at Direction Church is we want to give you a place where you can do something for God, whether that's sowing uh, seed, whether that's serving on a serve team, whether that's being part of an usher and greeting crew. We want to give you a place that you can put your talents and your body and your abilities to use so that you can do it not for what it does for you, but for what it does for God and what it does for the kingdom. And when you do something for God, yeah, it might inconvenience you and it might take you out of your normal routine. But I'm telling you, when you do it with that mindset, not because you're doing it for the church, not because you're doing it for Pastor Brent, not be, not because you're doing it, you're doing it because God laid it on your heart to do it. God's then responsible to take care of you and your family. When you work your job, work it because God led you to that job and laid it on your heart to do that, gave you the skill set to do it. And when you go to work, I'm going to work to glorify the Lord. I'm not going to provide for my family. God's going to provide for my family. If he uses this job, praise God. If not, I'm living my life for him. And that's what our vision is at the church, a safe place where you can take the journey together as a family. Journey where? To, in your relationship with God. We do that by knowing God, receiving from God, and lastly, doing something for God. We love you. We look forward to talking with you more on these vision talks. Let's go out and let's go take the journey together.